Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. An important study was published in the International Journal of Cancer in July 2018 regarding breast cancer prevention. Very important subject. So although prior studies have suggested an association between higher fruit and vegetable intake and reduced risk of breast cancer, for the most part these studies had some limitations which was explained by the first author of this current study, Miriam Farvid. Now she went on to state that this current research study published in July of 2018 provides the most complete picture of the importance of consuming high amounts of fruit and vegetables for breast cancer prevention. So in the study the researchers analyzed diet questionnaires submitted every four years by 182,145 women, it's almost 200,000 women submitting diet questionnaires um, every four years. They, these women were initially 27 to 59 years of age. These women are part of the Nurses Health Study and part of the, the Nurses Health Study Part 2. So data on other potential breast cancer risk factors such as their age and weight and smoking status and family cancer history were also evaluated. But the results of the study showed this, that women who, women who ate more than 5.5 or 5.5 servings of fruit and vegetables each day on average had an 11% lower risk of breast cancer than those who ate 2.5 or 2.5 or fewer servings of fruit and vegetables each day. Now a serving of fruit and vegetables is defined as one cup of raw leafy vegetables, half a cup of raw or cooked vegetables, or half a cup of chopped or cooked fruits. Now cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli and yellow and orange vegetables showed a very strong association with lower breast cancer risk. Now they also found that higher consumption of fruit and vegetables was associated with a lower risk of the more aggressive types of breast cancers including estrogen receptor negative breast cancer, HER2 positive breast cancer, and basal-like tumors. These are the very aggressive forms of breast cancer and women who ate more fruit and vegetables had a lower risk not only of breast cancer but of these more aggressive types of tumors. Now previous work by these research, uh, researchers had shown that uh, eating more dietary fiber was also associated with a reduction in risk of breast cancer but they went on to say that over and above the fiber that's in these fruits that these fruits and vegetables appear to have other nutrients that protect against breast cancer such as antioxidants, phytonutrients and other types of micronutrients that also they think are associated with reducing risk. So the bottom line remains that women should pay close attention to ingesting at least five fruit and vegetable servings every day being mindful to make at least one of those choices a cruciferous vegetable. So a cruciferous vegetable is broccoli, bok choy, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, turnips. These cruciferous vegetables exhibit multifaceted anti-cancer and detoxification properties and they're strongly linked with decreased risk of many cancers including breast cancer. The carotenes and flavonoids that are in orange and yellow vegetables appear to also show very impressive protective value against breast cancer in this study. So remaining at one's ideal body weight, participating in regular exercise, ingesting adequate dietary fiber, reducing intake of saturated fats, trans fats, deep fried foods, and alcohol, and maintaining a vitamin D blood level above 85 nanomoles per liter are other lifestyle strategies that are strongly associated with a significant reduction in breast cancer risk according to published studies. So I've included a link to the July 2018 study in the text below. The authors of the study conclude this. Our findings support that higher intake of fruit and vegetables and specifically cruciferous and yellow orange vegetables may reduce the risk of breast cancer especially those that are more likely to be aggressive tumors. So I hope you'll pay heed to this, uh, these findings, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.